particular problem at bay? Maybe I'll ask her some questions a little bit later to tea. Uh, her plant is dying. Do you see where it is? <laughs> it's a house oh, plant. No. Her son. It's a house plant, but it's not even near a window. <laughs> and she said it's dying. It. She says it's, it's dying. Died. No, it's dying. Oh, send a picture to me. Okay. okay. So we're going to talk about poop or something. <laughs> well, always. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Plant poop? Are we ready? We're ready. We're, we're ready on. We're on the air. Can I, can I talk about my pest? Okay, so I get these three questions early spring, and I'm going to address them now. So the first one is, and I've already addressed it earlier, is powdery mildew. So you may notice your roses and other plants get this, let's see if you can see it, this white coating right there. See that? Yeah. White yeah. coating all over the plants. It's like a dust. That is a foliar fungus. Now, if you don't want to go out, if you haven't been to the store and you're like, well, I, I don't want to go to the hardware store, you could try using baking soda. It is basically one tablespoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of soap in a gallon. Spray it. Only do it once because it is a salt that can end, end up in your soil. So I would only do that if you can't get to the hardware store or you don't have Tina's favorite, neem oil. Neem oil. Neem oil. But my favorite is actually sulfur for powdery mildew. Oh. And there's another product called Serenade, and it's a natural bacteria that you could spray. Remember, none of this is going to get rid of the existing uh, powdery mildew. It's just going to prevent the spores from landing on top of the other uh, leaves. Now, usually when it gets dry and sunny, it'll dissipate on a lot of your plants, but of course then your curbits in, in summer can, can get it as well. So powdery mildew. Number two is the poster child of spring pest, which is aphids. Let's see. Ew. Ew. Oh, gross. <laughs> this is a pepper that's been inside my house and it's from seed. And oh, there's a cat. Has, oh, kitty, go away. That's Ophelia. Ophelia. <laughs> <laughs> Now look for natural predators. If you see these swollen beige like mummies, they look like they're called aphid mummies, then you have natural predators. If you have ladybugs, you have natural predators. Don't eat that. No, 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 no. You use a hose blast. A hose blast works. Or you can make Dawn soap five tablespoons in a gallon of water um, or neem oil. But usually they just go away. Don't worry about that. Okay, last one. A lot of questions is this do you see that yeah what is that i've seen that before. that yeah that is peach leaf curl and oh, it yeah. affects your peaches and your nectarines sometimes almonds and it's this red puckering now right now is not the time to treat it or prevent it that is in the fall when all the leaves drop off and before flowers break you want to spray liquid copper all over the plant right now the only thing to do is to pick up those fallen leaves you could even pick them off of the plant if you have some. Okay. And uh, if the tree defoliates a lot, give it extra nitrogen so it puts on a new flush of leaves. But in the fall is when you want to treat it. And I actually have examples of what to do with your peach leaf pearl and aphids on my YouTube channel, Marlene the Plant Lady. So I put pictures there and you can see what those aphid mummies look like. But really don't panic. Pests are going to happen. You need pests for the natural uh, beneficials to eat and to use as a host. So remember, a lot of times they just dissipate and a plant can handle a good amount. You just have to sort of monitor and use the most mild uh, pesticides possible. Okay, where's Ophelia? Ophelia.